Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Man. I saw some stories yesterday, man. <laughs> I mean, I just don't get it. I don't understand the, the goal of these stories. I don't understand... I don't understand what the goal is to cancel things. And this this apology for shit. I just don't understand. Yesterday I saw an article that said Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively apologize for having their wedding at a former plantation in 2000 and 12. I didn't know these two motherfuckers were married, let alone where. I had no idea. Now that I have an idea, I give less than a shit than I did when I didn't have an idea. What is the point of you apologizing for that? What did you do wrong? What, you found a good venue that your wife liked and you could afford? What a sin. You should be flogged, 40 lashings for that. What the fuck is the point? But anyway, that wasn't the point of what I'm saying. The other article I saw <laughs> in Oregon, of course, that if, if California is a liberal butthole, then Oregon is like the taint, the, the skin bridge to the, to the nut sack that is Washington. So, in Oregon, and the reason they were going to do this in Oregon is because the fucking movie was filmed there. Makes sense. So they were going to, they have these things popping up where they do kind of these these drive-in movie kind of things, or these they show these movies, you know, kind of get a little normalcy, get people together, have a little fun. So they were going to show Kindergarten Cop. Remember that? It's not a tumor. Well, it turns out America does have a tumor. It's called a liberal. It'll never work. My goodness. So they're going to show Kindergarten Cop. A nice family movie. A classic. But no, not now. You can't enjoy classics. You can't enjoy things from the past. They were also showing it because this year is the 30th anniversary of the movie. 30th anniversary, it was filmed in Oregon, let's show it in Oregon nope not when these blue haired granola headed dirt fuckers get a hold of things, now it's offensive, now I guess I don't remember, I haven't seen the movie in a long ass time but I guess there's a scene where some kid gets arrested or something like that, because that's what the person was talking about in this article, we can't show images of children being arrested and the police and police brutality i'm like what in the fuck are you talking about why are you shitting all over this family night well they're doing it because their goal is to shit on families period in any way family strong family equals not needing them strong family structure means not needing the government to do everything that's what all this socialist communist bullshit is about we can't handle it. We can't figure things out. We need to hand it over to daddy government to take care of us from cradle to grave. But everything's offensive. Oh, it shows the prison, the uh, classroom, what's it called? It? The prison pipeline, the classroom to prison pipeline, which is a fucking lie. What, what do you, how do you even see all of these things in this movie? It must be, must be a shitty existence to see racism and bad shit everywhere. And not that it's there, it's just how your twisted mind views it. That must really suck to have to look for the bad in everything. And it's down to a kindergarten cop? What the fuck? You guys have nothing else, everything else is good. Every other societal ill is cool, we, we took care of it. We put it to bed. Now we can focus on evil, maniacal family movies from the 90s. That's how good we got it, people. 
Don't let them tell you this country's racist. Don't let them tell you that this is a horrible capitalist society or warmongering society. Obviously it's not. Obviously it's the most perfect country on earth because we can focus our efforts on 90s family movies. What a good problem to have, huh? So all you people around the world who can barely hear this video because of the rumbling in your stomach, Come on over to America. It's perfect. All we worry about is family movies now. This country is fucking great. All our problems are gone. No one's getting robbed and killed. No one's dying of illness. There's no more wars. I know the rest of the world is jealous. Sorry, world. All we got left are 90s movies to worry about. Why don't you guys catch up? Never mind the families and the people who wanted to go see this, who wanted to go enjoy it, get the fuck out of the house. Maybe the parents in my age range who like to show their kids the movies from their childhood in hopes that their children like it too. As you keep glancing over at your child, hoping to see the same happiness that you had on your face when you watched that movie for the first time, never mind those experiences and those bonding moments for the family. No, no, it's all about how your intersectional, every fucking thing, buzzword using ass feels about it. Fuck you. You probably don't even have kids. The barren bitch that wrote this article probably doesn't even have children. So you don't understand. So fucking stupid. Kindergarten cop. And they pulled it. Another thing. The only thing worse than these crazy ass liberal fuckers are the people who bow to them. Are the people who sacrifice at their altar of insanity. You're worse. Why didn't you read this article and let, like, man, get your ass out of here. Ashton Kutcher, is that you? Am I being fucking punked right now? Because there's no way in the world that someone found something wrong with Kindergarten Cop and we can't show it to anybody now. When do the needs and the wants of the many outweigh those of the crazy ass few who do not get enough love and acceptance and hugs from their parents? When are we going to do that? Hold on. Put on a little air. When are we going to do that? When are we going to stop even giving these crazy ass fools the time of day? Let alone carrying out their wishes. Oh, I don't want you to show this. And I don't want you to sell that. And you can't say this. Okay. 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 Shit, man. Get the fuck out of here. Kindergarten cop, man, your life sucks. And another place that sucks, also on the left coast, is a little city or town, I guess, called Piedmont, California. It's near Oakland, which is near San Francisco, which is the festering canker sore slash butthole of this country. So there's a, a, a building in Piedmont. I'll put uh, to both of these stories, the kindergarten cop shit and this. I'll put links in the description box to both stories. I don't know if it's like a city council building. It's some official building, right? Where out front they have, or they should have, the American flag, the state flag, and the POW slash MIA flag. You know, the black and white one? That's it. Do we need any, to fly any other flags? I mean, what else do we need? We got the country, the state, and the prisoners of war and those missing in action. Sounds good to me, right? Nope, nope, wrong. Not if you're in California, not if you're in California, under the rule of the, of the great Gavin, bang your wife Newsom. Once again, for those of you who may be new, I call him bang your wife Newsom because a few years back he got caught banging his best friend's wife. What a nice guy. How he's still alive and able to walk on his own and feed himself is beyond me. Because if I catch my best friend, and I don't know if he was caught in the act, but it was found out that he fucked his best friend's wife. 
If I find out that my best friend's fucking my wife, you two better do paper, rock, scissors and decide who's going to get fucked up. Anyway, so in Piedmont, California, they decided the American flag, the state flag, and the POW flag just weren't enough. They need to show their allegiance to this new group, to this new organization. You know it. You hate it. Certain Black Lives Matter. That's right. In Piedmont, they are going to fly the Black Lives Matter flag outside of an official building. Now, when you fly a flag, that shows allegiance. That doesn't show support. That shows allegiance. And no business or building or entity paid for with tax dollars should support any organization like it should support no private organizations. The country, the state, and our soldiers who haven't come back home. That's it. You want to fly that bullshit flag on your car? You want to fly that large piece of toilet paper in front of your house? That's fine. But you don't fly that shit in front of a building that is paid for by my fucking tax dollars. I don't think so. I don't support that bullshit. I don't support that terrorist organization. You read about other countries, you see stories, you see movies of how these drug cartels, how these cartel leaders, <clears throat> like uh, Pablo Escobar. Pablo Escobar had an army that rivaled the Colombian army. This man, this one man had an army that rivaled the army of the entire country. That's what these fuckers have done. They've gone out and bought themselves an army. Now they don't have tanks and guns. Most of these little pussies, even if they had a gun, they probably couldn't hold it up, let alone shoot it. But they have other weapons. That's how they get these fools to bow and these companies to do what they want them to do and stop selling this and remove that. They have, they have things that are more powerful than a gun. People's emotions. Can you believe? And this is just the beginning. California and New York are the retarded bookends of America. They're the Petri dishes. They're the ones who try out the socialist commie bullshit. And if it works there, it spreads and infects the rest of the country. You got damn uh, Mayor de Blasio, whose brain power couldn't light an easy bake oven light bulb. This fool is putting in checkpoints. Uh, is this a, a holiday weekend? Are there going to be drunk drivers? Why the fuck do you have a checkpoint outside of New York City? New York City? Why the, what? It's to check people coming into New York to make sure you don't have the Rona, the COVID, the sweet and sour sniffles. What? Aren't you a little late with that, de Blasio? Why don't we talk to the family members of all those old people in the convalescent homes that you infected with COVID-19? Check, you see this shit? Checkpoints. Out here in California, you got them flying the BLM flag outside of federal buildings. Down in LA, you got dumbass Garcetti that wants to cut off the power and water to homes and businesses that don't comply with the COVID-19 regulations. Yeah. You having a party at your house? There go the lights. There goes the water. Let me go wash my hands. <laughs> no water. What? And let me ask you this. How LA is huge. You can fit whole like you can fit the state of Indiana inside of San Bernardino County. That's how big the LA area is. So how are the the authorities going to know what's going on at private homes and businesses. They must have somebody telling. They have private citizens ratting out other private citizens to the authorities. Sound familiar? 
what kind of crazy shit is that? You got these sweet and sour sniffle task force forces going out, checking on people. What the man? Hold on. Let me let me try to find. Is this still America? What in the fuck is going on here? We are sandwiched by stupidity. The cancel apology culture and the sweet and sour sniffle regulations. We are being squeezed. Now, whether you're Republican, Democrat, conservative, whatever the fuck, when it comes time to vote, we are going to answer this question. Are we really sleeping giants? Those of us who don't agree with all this cancel culture, far left commie shit. Are we will, really just a sleeping giant who doesn't want to be bothered with this? Or have we been beaten? Have we been conquered by these fools? Because the, the polls are telling us that Trump is going to lose. You know it's at stake if Trump loses. Then we have Biden's running mate to deal with. Because that senile old fool is not running America. Whether this is an act or not, this, wait, wait a minute, am I in the mall? Whether that's an act or not is irrelevant at this point. All that matters is who his VP pick is, because if he wins, that's who's going to be president. But are we really a sleeping giant who's suddenly going to awaken on November 3rd and win our country back? Or have we been beaten? You let me know in the comment section. But I'm about to hop in this damn rat race. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. Make sure you utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.